Hey guys, welcome to TNT Takeaway Food. I'm Steph Kalu and we are here at one of my favorite cafes in New World in Trinidad and Tobago. It's called the Chocolate Bar Cafe in Santa Cruz and we are going to be having a little bit of my favorite drinks. It's called the Hot Cocoa with marshmallows on top. It's one of my favorites. So come along with me. We're going to be having some of that and seeing how they make it especially. This show is sponsored by Mountain Pride Chocolates, the exotic taste of the Caribbean. Made with 100% natural, sun-dried, Trinitario cocoa beans without additives or preservatives. Locally manufactured in Trinidad and Tobago. So, the question, does Trinidad and Tobago have the best hot chocolate in the world? Is there any proof? Since 2010, the Cocoa of Excellence program has hosted the International Cocoa Awards with Trinidad and Tobago winning it eight times more than any other country. Wow! Trinidad and Tobago is designated as producing 100% fine flavor by the ICCO, that is the International Cocoa Organization. As a generalization, fine or flavor cocoa beans are produced from Trinitario cocoa tree varieties. So there's your proof. And now for the taste. <laughs> Thank you. It's my favorite hot cocoa in the world. I try making it at home, but it's not the same at all. <laughs> but they don't have marshmallows today, but it's okay. We have shaved cocoa on top and I love the enamel cup they use because this is what we used to drink from like years back when we were small so it's kind of like a nostalgic sort of thing. Okay, mm. so this is like the best hot cocoa you could ever get and it's just rich authentic that cocoa taste that you just can't get from when you buy it in the supermarket or anything this is the real deal so if you want that pure flavor of cocoa hot cocoa you have to come right here <laughs> to the chocolate bar in santa cruz so how is the cocoa made who better to portray the method than the owner Daryl Saunders. Uh, first, we um, put our water to boil. Uh, when the water is boiling, we add our traditional cocoa powder. Um, this powder is 99% pure Trinitario chocolate cocoa infused with traditional spices. In the process of boiling, the cocoa now is infused into the water. And after that process, you'll see the water turning brown, which is like hot chocolate without the milk and sugar. Uh, it's like a non-dairy chocolate. It, the drink could be had like that. Also, at this process, we, we will strain the cocoa um, to get all the remnants of the remnants of the nutmeg, the orange peel and so on. Uh, we strain it and you can see the grit on the strainer. Then after that process, the the water is then poured into a blender and we blend in uh, powdered milk and sugar. We like to use the powdered milk because the drink is more creamy and sugar is added to taste. The traditional hot cocoa tea, it, we make it with our powdered milk but there are other versions that we serve here at Chocolate Bar which is a non-dairy which is the traditional cocoa tea without any milk whatsoever it's just like a tr traditional black coffee um, we also do a almond milk ch chocolate i just have to sit down with the owner daryl and ask her passion and involvement with the chocolate bar we love it i crave it sometimes and i try to make it home but it's not the same so I'm like, let me ask you, is there a secret recipe? I'm not going to ask you the recipe, well, but... For me, it's not a secret recipe. Like, I grew up in a cocoa brewing area. Yeah. I had this traditional hot chocolate as a child. Yeah. And uh, um, in trying to make an extra income for my family, 
um, coming from Tamana and living in Santa Cruz, I started making this whole cook while giving out as gifts. And then somebody Love said, them. you know, you could sell that. And you know, well, you could sell that and make money. Yeah. <laughs> so um, somebody took it to Hilo. So, and then wow. then Hilo. The cocoa the part. Cocoa okay, okay. Because right. they said this is the premier souvenir item. And then then Hilo, Massey, began, they became interested and we started selling it. Yeah. Right. So, Hot chocolate was like, okay, my thought factor is if you give people eat chocolate to drink, they may buy the cocoa Coco. powder. Ah. So I was given all the hot chocolate free. Wow, well because that's I good incentive, people yeah. To taste it. Yeah. And uh, people will come back to me and say, but I buy the, the cocoa powder and when I go home I make it, it doesn't taste like yours, you know. So, so little did I know that I made two products. Exactly. The cocoa powder and the cocoa tea. Right. Yeah. Yes, because the cocoa tea, I will just add milk and sugar to the and water. You'll get no, is it? Tea. It's probably a hand. You know yeah. they say, like because the chocolate powder itself has all the spices, so you don't want yeah. to put cinnamon or nutmeg or anything. Yeah. So it's just add sugar and. It's, milk it's and probably the love that we we'll put in it that tastes yeah. different. Yeah. But I, I make it and it doesn't taste like you. <laughs> Yeah, but I'll take a pub before I even try it. So I like to put cinnamon and stuff in my yeah. home. Yeah. But it's not the same here. It's still okay, but not as good as it. Here, like, one of our hot drinks is cinnamon chocolate. So we add extra cinnamon in it. Right. So we get hot cinnamon chocolate or cold cinnamon chocolate. Oh gosh, like, see? Like, I would sit down here and eat everything, you know? Like, <laughs> I, I feel like I'm, I'm, I'm pleased that people like what we create. Because when you create something, you already create it. Yeah, them. but I love to support locally which, grown which is, and made yeah. products too. Which is, is great and appreciated, but when you come up with an idea and people gravitate to it, you could only feel like really good and accomplished, wow, I made this and people like it. Yeah, so exactly. For me, the gratification of people liking what I created, Yeah. even the ambience here, which is just like my childhood memory, a character. It's an accomplishment. And yeah. a couple house. That's, that's uh, Normal yeah. country girl, um, ambiance. Yeah, and I like that touch. That that that's a cocoa house yes, up there, right? Yeah. Bringing back my childhood memories here in Santa Cruz, and from that and all to be appreciated, I feel really great because this is what I like. Yeah. And I think people like it, so that. I love you know, that. So Salute to you, and this is our business woman here at Trinidad and Tobago. So. To woman hobby power, business, hobby, hobby turn business, hobby book turn business. So you have to come and support her, try her products and drinks and food. They're really chocolate. great and chocolate. Yeah, so everything there in the showcase like your main, right? Everything is made here. Right. Is made here. Um, so we make right apart from the traditional chocolate, we do edible chocolates. Right. And we incorporate edible chocolates in our desserts and ice creams. And they're super good. Everything. I just want to get a little feedback on like the cocoa themselves and where you all grow them, right? In, in Tamana, so right? From Tamana, Tamana yes. right? So, um, my family had cocoa in its, in its um, tradition and its heritage. My right. grandmother grew up in cocoa estate, and she must have been a powerful woman because for a woman to own a cocoa estate in the 30s and 40s. Yeah. That's, that was like, and so my. That's inspiration. Yeah, so I tell myself, like, I knew she was a single mom. So she must have been a, a great single mom. For sure. And she grew up her, well, she had like, four daughters and one son. So obviously the land was separated among her kids. It was a really big estate at the time. And right. so my mom inherited the estate. My mom being female, my dad used to. Ah, the tea, the cocoa, it's so original. Everything takes me back from years ago where my grandmother used to make. So I really enjoy the flavors that we had. The, I enjoy the ambience. I like the friendly staff. And most of all, I enjoy, I'm taking away a lot of chocolates. Let's also find out what Daryl's daughter Astrid's role in the company is. Astrid, tell us about how, what is your like or your whole marketing rule behind this this establishment well a little backdrop um, my mom 
she was always interested in this chocolate and I was always interested in seeing her happy and making I was always interested in business like I yeah. always like business and I find that I, I also had like a leg up because I know mom had this passion behind her chocolates and her passion made me passionate about it so I was like all right let's do this I'll make it a career I will help this dream become a reality yeah and she always wanted a place to showcase her products came up with the idea of having a cafe together and it it felt like faith to get the property the building yeah. the design everything came together like faith and um that's how it came up with chocolate, chocolate cafe here so my day-to-day -day life now that we have this cafe i thought it was busy before where it was just sales and marketing of the chocolates yeah but now I find that we didn't expect, we, ex we, we hoped for the, the um, notoriety, the success, I won't say success, but like as soon as we opened our doors, we were really welcomed by the community, welcomed by China and Tobago. Everybody was really interested in what we really had to offer. We found ourselves like a niche cafe. Yeah, for sure. Um, especially because like we produce we try to be authentic in everything that we give to the customers we produce everything from scratch that's what i love the most about this cafe and i was so intrigued by it yeah. too that you all made everything from yeah. scratch and, and that's why like you see is that we everybody wants to come here for our cocoa tea because you're not gonna get it anywhere else exactly that taste is ours you know yeah and we thrive on that and we were really really um welcome and open arms in the community and we were very grateful for it but with that, the chocolate business had to take a back seat yeah. because we, are really, we had to really get our customers happy. It was a struggle in the beginning. We had no, we had no idea of the restaurant industry. We were just trying to follow the dream. Yeah. So we really, um, brick by brick built it. We finally got ourselves together. Um, I think we reached a point now that I feel so proud of not only me and my mom, but staff that grew with us and customers that grew with us yeah. i feel like everybody who really are chocolate like yourself she's always there <laughs> yeah, love she's always there. <laughs> like, they grow with us they yeah. can tell the difference if we decide to do a little renovation they could see it so anything with probably uniform they know you know yeah. so i am i am very happy i'm very grateful and i look forward to a future where we could um be creative I would like to see Chocolate Bar and the concept go um, to different locations. Um, probably regionally, internationally, but right now with the COVID, like you can't really dream too high. So we just really, really want to maintain what we have right yeah. now. Focus on, take this time to focus on our chocolates. So we are, I don't know, we invest in a lot in a lot of machinery for the chocolate brand, a lot of marketing. So we we're looking forward to really focusing on the chocolate brand Mountain Pride yeah. and taking this time to just perfect everything. We have plans in the future, but we just have to wait and see. Yeah. Delicious, refreshing, mouth watering. Oh, wow. Hi, so guys, you all know me for music. But I also belly dance. I'm teaching to ladies. If you're all interested, I teach on a Thursdays, um, a Thursday at Spot Studio. So you could always message me on Instagram or Facebook and look out for my latest music video, Better Days, because we have better days ahead. And I decided to release this during the entire pandemic period to give some sort of hope that each and every one of us could accomplish our personal obstacles and overcome anything that we want to overcome so look out for that it's on youtube it's on my facebook it's on my instagram and also my, check out my page where you wear it's my side brand everything locally made and thanks so much for the support much love it's original and it's the best cocoa i i have ever drank yeah, no. The food real good in there, no, boy. TNT Takeaway Food is a new show where celebrities tell you what their favorite dish is. Some celebrities are Raymond Ramnarine, 
Arrow Fabian, James Bed, Steph Kalu, Mike Wise, Craig Sumer, Ray Smith, plus more. The star is a mouth watering food. What dish will they choose? Where in TNT will they take us? Celebrities wishing to appear on the show, please contact us. Advertisers and sponsors, send an email for more info. Join our journey to find the best meals, snacks, desserts, punches, and food shops in Trinidad and Tobago, where the real star of the show is the food.